Welcome to the ACS Daily News for July 20th, 2017. It was crowded over at Cape and Park Zoo Wednesday evening as it hosted its annual Zoo Moon event. Hundreds of guests visited the dozens of food and creative vendors. This is Melanie Fernandes, Curator of Education at Capron Park Zoo, and it is July 19th. The heat index is at about 100 degrees, but it is Zoo Moon night here at Capron Park Zoo. You can see behind me we have a bunch of vendors set up and the zoo is open. All the animals are on exhibit. The splash pad is open. Vendors are set up. Food trucks are here. And it is a beautiful evening to be in the zoo. This event actually started years ago uh, as the idea was to replace the Wednesday night market that used to happen up in the center of town. And we knew we did not have the capacity to do it every week like the Wednesday night market used to be. But we thought maybe if we did a one-shot deal during the summer and give a lot of the local businesses the opportunity to get their handicrafts here, it might be well received. Um, so our first event, which was seven years ago now, we had about 25 vendors, uh, no food trucks, and we had about 500 people attend that event. Uh, and last year we had 105 vendors and four and a half thousand people attend the event. So it's something that's really grown over the past couple years. Um, it seems to be really well liked by not just Attleboro, but by the surrounding communities. People buy their tickets weeks in advance so that they don't have to wait in lines and they can be here. Uh, we have all our volunteers on site and they're doing animal talks and presentations at exhibits as well. And as I said, the splash pad is open. So when it's a hot night like this, it's great to have a chance to see the zoo in a totally different light. We have both craft and food vendors. All the craft vendors are local people who either have cottage industries or uh, things like Narium International or other businesses like Paparazzi or LuLaRoe where they are part of a scheme of people who do a lot and this is the opportunity for them to get out there and get themselves known. So we really try to set this up to focus on local small crafters and artisans that can come in and sell their stuff. Not quite a farmer's market since we don't have things like produce or whatever. Uh, but we do have small local cottage industries. So this gives them a chance to show off and really get people to buy local. It's a good place to start looking at holiday gifts because honestly Christmas gets here before you know it. Uh, a couple of years ago we decided to add food trucks and they've been a very very popular addition to this event. What I've heard is everybody's enjoying it. The biggest complaint of course is the heat which is nothing I can do anything about but the event itself everybody's been enjoying it from what I've heard. Uh, if they want to find out more about Zoo Moon, obviously check the zoo's website or the, our Facebook page. Um, after this event, we won't have another one until next summer, but starting in about March, we start looking for new vendors to come into this event. So we set all this up for free. We don't charge our vendors, we don't charge our food trucks, we don't charge anybody to be a part of this event. Uh, we strictly want to showcase these small businesses rather than expect to make uh, money other than on admissions to the zoo. If it's something you have a small cottage industry and you'd like to be part of this event, uh, definitely get hold of us probably around March so that you can get in and register. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content in high definition by visiting our website, doubleacs.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app or visiting the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.